here is a really good example of where the shoulder plane shines. This, uh, this tenon I, I cut uh, with a dado stack on my table saw and it was all just cross cuts. And the, at some point, either I didn't hold this part tight to the cross cut fence or the fence was slightly out of square. But you should be able to see that there's a sort of a bright line that goes across and it's a step. Let me, you can hear it. So that means that these two edges, these two corners are square with one another. But the blade cut at an angle and it left a ramp. And I can check that with a square, so if I find my reference face, which is here, and I run a square across, I can see that it's touching here at the top of the step, but there's a gap here and here, and it's equal. So now I have this, this angled face that I need to shave flush. So I'm gonna clamp this piece of material down. I'm probably gonna use two clamps because I don't want it slipping around while I'm working. And I know that this, this is parallel to this, and it's 90 degrees to the shoulder, so I can use it as a reference face for my shoulder plane to run on. So since this is a, is a ramp shape, I have to take step cuts. So I'm gonna probably divide this into thirds. I'm gonna take a cut from here all the way till the end of this notch for the first pass, and then I'll divide that what's left in half, and I'll take a pass all the way for the second pass, and that should do it. I've got my shoulder plane is set a little bit too strong, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna back it off a little bit. Make sure you take the backlash back out. So here's my starting point. Okay, so you can see I took a little bit of material out. <laughs> I erased that pencil line. Here's my second pass. Let me get this other piece of material out. Okay, so the real trick here is to make sure you don't run off the end with this with this shoulder plane because that blade will catch on the end and it'll just spelch. It'll just blow that corner right out. So I can still feel there's a tiny little bit of step there. But it is, I mean, it is probably, it's certainly less than a 32nd, way less, or way less than a 32nd, probably less than a 64th. And, you know, that's workbench perfect right there. But if I want to push my luck, I can start just shy of the end here and go all the way through with a light, light cut. And you can see where it jumps out of the cut there. Okay. We're perfect. 